piece of a creature, the Queen Xenomorph, were to meet the Queen White Spike. <laughs> Two alien horde species. Both species have a queen. So if we were to pit those queens against each other, which one would come out on top? Let's start by going into the Queen Xenomorph stats. The Queen Xenomorph is known as the mother of all the Xenomorphs, the leader of all the drones, the leader of the Hive. She can grow up to 15 feet high, or even as high as 40 feet, and 10 tons. Even though the other Xenomorph are very intelligent, the queen of the species are usually far more intelligent than that of the drones. She can exhibit very human traits, like anger and vengeance, beyond any purely instinctual behavior. An example of this is when the queen saw her nest and children destroyed by Ripley. She was smart enough to understand that Ripley could hurt her children. And so, when Ripley broke out the flamethrower and the drones were about to attack, the queen was scared for her eggs and quickly let the other ones know that they should not attack. This is so interesting because these are not mindless creatures. They understand danger, more so the queen. But when Ripley felt threatened later and burned all of the eggs, the queen was distraught and went after Ellen Ripley with a vengeance. She even went as far as to hide herself in the landing gear of the dropship and follow them back to the USS Silico. Not only is the queen more scary, larger, but she's also older than all the rest. She usually remains stationary and her job is to direct the hive and order the drones. Even though she's usually in one spot, the queen does have the ability to disconnect from her egg sac. As far as we know from the information that we have, it is said that the queen can lay up to 15 eggs per hour and they are usually born via a royal face hugger or a darker variation of the face hugger. Any normal drone xenomorph can become a queen. The queen is so powerful that she's even bulletproof to a point or at least much more durable and resilient than the drones. She's so strong that it's even difficult to take her down with big machinery. And as a queen, she sure knows how to take her hits and dish them out too. This is because her exoskeleton is much tougher than that of the drones, and she has a lot of muscle density. But even with that, that doesn't make her invulnerable. The queen is still able to get hurt through her vulnerable spots, and she bleeds just like the other drones. The queen will usually come back with a vengeance, and she tends to be much more of a badass. She's the one xenomorph that you do not want to piss off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, when I saw that scene, I was shitting myself. <laughs> Sorry. The Queen Xenomorph is so intelligent that she can understand human intentions and even how machinery works. Again, we saw this in Aliens when the Queen signaled her warriors to back off when Ripley threatened her eggs. The Queen knew at this moment in Aliens that Ripley had the upper hand. She was totally in a vulnerable spot. She could have easily had the hive come down on Ripley, but she knew that that thing that spat fire could kill her eggs. Even though the fire didn't hurt her eggs, the Queen understood what fire was and that Ripley was preparing to hurt her eggs. Usually other animals would see a human being pointing a gun at something and then not make the connection that the gun or the weapon's pointy end is pointing at their offspring enough to know not to attack them. They will usually just attack anyway without knowing the repercussions of doing so. However, the queen understood completely and so she instructs her drones to back off of Ellen. There's a lot more information on the queen that shows her to be even far more intelligent than what were shown in the movies, but since I mainly watch the movies, this is according to the movie universe. But if you do want to get a story about the queen xenomorph, be sure to check out Alien Theory. He does a lot of interesting videos on the topic. From what we've seen of the queen, even though she can be injured, it's a lot more difficult to injure her, maybe because she's tougher and much larger than the average xenomorphs. It is fair that in this fight between Ripley and the xenomorph queen, that she wasn't operating in full intelligent tactic because she was running strictly off of vengeance and rage. Her attack started being more tactical when she realized that she was not hurting Ripley in the machine. The Queen Xenomorph also has acid blood just like the drones, so even if you do manage to injure her, it would still be quite dangerous, especially because she's looming over you. Despite her size, the Queen Xenomorph is very fast and can run to 24 to 30 miles per hour, or 40 kilometers per hour. It's quite scary having something that large running that fast after you. Oh yeah, and this is not important, but she also has heals. For this pair up, we'll utilize the 15 foot xenomorph queen. Now that's what we know about the queen xenomorph so far. Let's get into the queen white spike. The queen 
white spike is part of the white spike alien species that was introduced in the movie The Tomorrow War starring Chris Pratt. As is seen in the movie, she is bigger than her male counterparts and way more aggressive. She's much more intelligent and she means business. Something that is interesting, just of note, is in the scene when the males come to set her free, as soon as she breaks free, you can actually see them bowing down in reverence to her or in submission. She is their mother or their aunt, depending on which queen they were born from. But I thought it was very interesting to note that they let her go, they're looking up at her, she's very angry, and then they quickly bow their heads, not looking at her, averting their gaze, similar to what animals do on Earth. She's also slightly lighter in color than they are. She's stronger than they are, much bigger, and much more ferocious. When the queen is pissed, everyone's on edge. The theory right now is that she can breed to up to a dozen eggs every day, or give live birth, or even several times a day. Just like her smaller male counterparts, she has the ability to climb up smooth surfaces. She can also leap very high, and has the ability to smell from far away. We don't know if it's just any blood or just human blood, but if something's injured and bleeding, she can detect it. The queen also has very powerful jaws, and just like her smaller male counterparts, she has the ability to shoot small projectiles from her tentacles. Although from what I've seen, her projectiles seem larger than that of the males. So what would happen if this queen were to meet the queen xenomorph? I don't think this queen white spike would readily just go up to the queen xenomorph, with the queen xenomorph being much bigger in size. I think she would approach her very slowly to assess whether or not she's a threat. Let's say the queen xenomorph is just on a rampage right now, because ordinarily she probably wouldn't attack something unless she's territorial or if she just wants to. The queen xenomorph would attack first, and if this is the first interaction the white spike would have with the xenomorph, she would have no way of knowing that the queen xenomorph has acid for blood. After the white spike also attacking and biting into the queen xenomorph, maybe a fleshy part, she would quickly feel the burn of the acid and she would let go immediately. The queen xenomorph would continue attacking the queen white spike, would prove to be way more agile and nimble than the queen xenomorph, able to jump on her back and claw at her exoskeleton. Realizing how hard the shell of the queen xenomorph is, the white spike queen would try to attack other areas. But after finding no luck, the queen white spike would quickly go to the ground and disappear for a while, attempting to play a trick on the xenomorph queen. The xenomorph queen would stealthily look around, waiting to see where the queen white spike has gone, hunting her, feeling for her. How convenient it would be if there was a cliff right now, but there's not. As the xenomorph gets close to where she thinks the queen white spike might be, out comes the white spike as a surprise, colliding into the underside of the xenomorph's jaw. The xenomorph would use her claws and scrape off the queen white spike, who roars in indignation towards the much larger animal. But at this point, the queen xenomorph would have had enough. How dare this little insolent creature think that she is on her level? And unfortunately for the queen white spike, this fight would be over so fast, it would seem as though it was over right at this begun. The queen xenomorph would grab the queen white spike and quickly impale her. But as the queen xenomorph is about to deal a crushing blow, the white spike would surprise her once again. She would raise her tentacles and shoot as many rounds as possible of the spikes, which would cut right into the queen xenomorph. Her neck bleeding, the queen xenomorph would have dropped the white spike, more surprised than injured. Unfortunately for the queen white spike, the acid blood would have burned her face. Thinking she now has the upper hand, the queen would rush for the xenomorph queen, only to be quickly stopped in her tracks. Unfortunately for the white spike queen, she did not enter the xenomorph queen's tail into the equation. The very sharp end of the queen xenomorph's tail would now suddenly appear on the other end of the white spike queen, splitting her right down the middle. Looking the white spike queen in the eyes, the xenomorph queen would roar triumphantly, taking her claws, and coupled with the pressure of her tail ripping into the white spike's body, she would tear the white spike clean in half. I know this fight doesn't seem very fair, but in all honesty, this wouldn't have been as good as a match because the queen xenomorph is that much bigger than the white spike queen. The white spike queen is fierce. She's smart and she's strong, but only towards animals that are as big as her, a slight bit bigger, or smaller. Against something like the xenomorph queen, especially given that the xenomorph queen has acid blood, the white spike queen probably wouldn't stand a chance. Now, if it were a matter of them utilizing their soldiers against each other, then we would see. Xenomorph drones usually have a one-track mind, and that is to attack. But when directly under the order of their queen, the queen could give specific orders and strategize a lot more in a tactical sense, as would the queen white spike. Now that would be something very interesting to see, kind of like an alien who sunk my battleship game. Anyways, who do you think would come out on top if a white spike queen were to go up against an alien xenomorph queen? Let us know in the comments, and thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.